Hi, in this Piotnet grid tutorial video, we are going to show you how to use a few facet types with taxonomy or custom fields queries. You can access WooCommerce demo on Piotnet grid website. This demonstration retrieves and renders products from WooCommerce data, and you can use facets to filter your needs. You'll learn how to set up facet types to filter your custom store page. The image select field allows you to select a choice visually with images. As in the brand filter here, the grid will return corresponding results when clicking brand logos. It works similar to the checkbox field but uses images for a more user-friendly interface. In the meanwhile, slider facet renders a horizontal bar that allows you to set a numeric value within a defined range by dragging a handle with the mouse. The value appears as you move the handle. It's easy to just show on sale items with a click. You can apply any format for this filter. Okay, let's get started. In product of WooCommerce, I prepared a taxonomy example for brands. It includes famous clothing brands works as terms function. When editing a specific term, you will recognize a Piatnet grid term image at the end. All you need is upload images for these terms. For example, I'm choosing a logo image for Adidas brand. And update this term. In a similar way, I'll keep adding image for the second term. Maybe you should have a note about the size of images, the same size is better for displaying options. I'll keep adding images for the rest. In the next stage, let's create filters with Piodnet Facet Editor. Click on Add New and Name for your facet title. Then edit with Piodnet Grid Builder. I often use a section to cover all elements in the beginning. Pick a facet widget to editor area. Afterward, fill out the facet parameters. For facet action, I keep filter option. And choose image select for filter type. If you want to display the results count in filter and allow multiple select, just enable these functions. In this image select facet, I will choose taxonomy source. And select a specific demo brand's taxonomy. You can apply some advanced features like hide children to hide subterms hierarchy or set up extra conditions. In some cases, if you desire to show some specific terms, you need to exclude manually other ones or subterms by this function. This facet type just works on front end. Let's save it first. By default, it will render all information if you want to only display image. You need to disable relevant data, choice count for example. As you see, the label still displays. There are a lot of solutions to hide labels. A quick trick is to set up topography in style tab. Then set zero for the topography size. In editor, the labels disappeared immediately. I'll refresh the preview to confirm this trick. Yup, it works. In addition, you can customize CSS to diversify your facet. Basically, you may know how to create an image select facet with taxonomy query. And now, I'll create one more image select facet, but with another data source. Through custom fields as in my example here. This is a list of original countries of products, and I want to show flag options and filter instead of normal names. Back to Piotnet Grid Editor and add one more facet. I temporarily call this facet is made into indicate original countries. Similarly, I just want to show only images, so turn off the choice count function. For filter data source, switch to custom fields option. And choose your appropriate custom field name. Click an item to start setup image options. Option values are values in your custom fields. For example, I used to select custom field of Metabox. Option label is the title displays on front end. Then upload sequentially your image options. 
In my case, I uploaded flag country images with the same size. Add new item for the next option. The option label is not a mandatory, so you don't need to fill out it. Alright, I implemented my 6 option like these items. Let's check preview to see its appearance. They are almost perfect because I don't want to show the labels. With same way, I'll revise the topography of labels. Depends on your page builder, it may override our CSS, you can adjust the line height to solve it in case. Let's check the preview again. Well, I'm pretty sure you already knew how to use facet image select. Let's move on the next facet type slider. In this filter, I want to show price ranges of products. With filter type, switch to slider. Then query your data source, it's a custom field in my case. To query price of WooCommerce, you just need to use this one. You also can add prefix or postfix to add currency unit or something else. By default, the slider displays the blue and basic format. You can use custom CSS to make it to be more brilliant. Keep adding more facet to show products on sale. Facet action is still filter format. For filter type, it is able to be any types, but I prefer a button field. Pick custom field in data source. And follow on my manipulation. After typing sale, a suggestion list shows up and choose the first option. That's it, these raw filters completely finished, you can use it to filter our grid or query loop. I'll use an available grid to apply created facet. Grid 3 is kinda great for products. This video focuses on how to create facet, so I will quickly browse grid part. A special highlight of Piotnet is template category. You possibly assemble components into a template and embed it to anywhere. For example, I will put facet and grid together into a template. As usual, pick a section to cover all components. You may turn on navigation to easily configure. I separate to columns as filter in the left and grid in the rest. If you are familiar with the user interface of popular visual page builders, you will easily control Piotnet grid editor interface. I'll drag a facet widget to the first column and select the facet that we've created. Don't forget to choose a grid application. Pick a grid widget to another column. and choose its query. It's easy to set up. Sometimes, Facet will not display on editor because it just works on front end, like the slider filter. Let's check the result. 
You also add a reset button to quickly refresh filters and facet. At the end of your grid, it's better when adding a pagination facet to load more products. There are available pagination demos, so I'll add it instead of creating a new one. After that, add this pagination into template. I'll put it at the end of template. Similarly, select the right pagination and apply for main grid. Let's check the final results. And that's all we want to show in this Piotnet grid tutorial today. Cheers and see you again.